Mediterranean diet is not just a new fad or generic healthy eating plan, it's a delicious lifestyle change. Imagine eating all your favorite foods and still being super healthy. Sounds cool, right? That's what the Mediterranean diet is all about. It's not just some boring diet where you eat less and miss out on tasty food. No, it's all about eating yummy foods in a way that's great for your body, both now and for a long time to come. We're going to take a peek at what makes this diet super special, what awesome foods you get to eat, and share some simple tips at the end to help you get started on becoming an even more amazing version of yourself with this diet. There's a whole lot of good stuff on the menu. Think about eating foods that are really good for your heart and can help you live a longer, happier life. And guess what? These foods are so delicious that you won't even feel like you're on a diet. If you want to eat in a way that's good for your heart, the Mediterranean diet is the way to go. It's more than just choosing certain foods over others. It's about making tasty meals that are good for you. This diet is big on fruits and veggies, lean meats, whole grains, and it uses cool cooking tricks from countries near the Mediterranean Sea. This way of eating takes all the good for you foods and mixes them with awesome flavors and cooking styles from places that have been making delicious meals for a really long time. So, are you ready to eat like you're on vacation by the sea and be super healthy at the same time? Let's dive in. Why is everyone talking about the Mediterranean diet? Well, it's like discovering a secret recipe for keeping your heart super happy and healthy. Way back in the 1960s, some smart people noticed that folks in places like Greece and Italy hardly ever get sick from heart problems compared to people in the US and some parts of Europe. That got them thinking, hmm, maybe it's something they're eating. Fast forward to now and lots of studies have shown that this diet is like a superhero for your heart. It keeps things like bad cholesterol and high blood pressure in check, which are big deals if you want to avoid heart disease. Even the people who all know about healthy eating in America and big organizations like the World Health Organization are giving the Mediterranean diet two thumbs up. It's not just something special for people living near the Mediterranean Sea. Even folks in Japan have a similar way of eating. You might have heard of other diets that are good for your heart, like the DASH diet or the guidelines that doctors suggest for all Americans to follow. The Mediterranean diet shares a lot of the same good advice as these diets. But here's the secret sauce. Sticking to the Mediterranean diet for the long haul is what really makes a difference for your heart. It's not just a quick fix. It's about eating yummy, heart-friendly foods as part of your daily life. Cool, right? Have you ever wondered what makes the Mediterranean diet super cool? It's all about munching on foods that people from countries around the Mediterranean Sea love to eat. There isn't just one way to follow it, but here's the scoop on what it usually includes. Loads of veggies, tons of fruits, whole grains like oats and brown rice, beans of all kinds, nuts and seeds for snacking, olive oil for making everything tasty, and using herbs and spices to make everything flavor-packed. Now, how do you actually do the Mediterranean diet? It's pretty simple. Every day, fill up on veggies, fruits, grains, and plant-based fats like olive oil. Then, each week, make sure to eat some fish, chicken, beans, and eggs. Say yes to things like yogurt and cheese, but don't go overboard. Try to keep red meat, like beef, as a sometimes food. Same goes for sugary snacks and drinks. Eat these only once in a while. But wait, there's more. The Mediterranean diet isn't just about what you eat. It's also about enjoying meals with your family and friends, staying active, and if you like, having a little bit of wine here and there in moderation. So there you have it. The Mediterranean diet is like a food adventure that's not only yummy, but also super good for you. Ready to give it a try? Guess what? The Mediterranean diet is like being a part of an awesome club where plants are the stars of the show. Instead of making meat the main event, this diet is all about loading up your plate with delicious stuff from the earth. We're talking veggies of all colors, super juicy fruits, crunchy nuts, hearty beans, and grains that keep you running all day. But hey, it's not like you have to say goodbye to cheese, chicken, or eggs. No, you can still have those, just not all the time. And fish? Yeah, you can enjoy that too. The only thing that's more of a special guest rather than a regular is red meat. So it's like having a party with all your plant pals, and once in a while, red meat pops in to say, hello. All right, let's talk about something super important in the Mediterranean diet, healthy fats. You know how some fats are not so good for you. Well. This diet focuses on the good guys called unsaturated fats. These are the types of fats that help keep your heart happy and healthy, unlike those sneaky saturated and trans fats that can cause heart problems. Where do these superhero fats come from? Mainly from olive oil and nuts. 
They're packed with unsaturated fats that help lower the bad cholesterol in your body. Imagine them as tiny cleaners sweeping away the stuff that clogs up your heart. And guess what? When you choose these unsaturated fats over the not so good ones, you're doing a huge favor for your heart. The experts say it can even lower the risk of heart disease. Pretty awesome, right? Now, let's talk about seafood. It's a big deal in the Mediterranean diet. We're talking about fish like mackerel, salmon, albacore tuna, herring, sardines, and anchovies, which are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. These are like the superhero of fats because they fight inflammation in your body. They help keep your blood fats low and make it harder for clots to form that can cause serious problems like strokes. Don't forget, there are also lean fish and shellfish like shrimp and cod on the menu, which are great for you, but it's super important to pick fish that are low in mercury, especially for kids and if someone's pregnant. Too much mercury is not good for your brain. So if you or your family catch your own fish, make sure to check if the water you're fishing in is clean and doesn't have mercury warnings. That way you're only eating the good stuff and keeping your body super strong and healthy. So let's chat about wine in the Mediterranean diet. You know how some folks like to have a drink with their meal? Well, in the Mediterranean area, it's pretty common to see people enjoying a bit of wine, especially red wine with their dinners. Some people say a little wine is part of the diet, with recommendations saying women might have one glass a day and men could go for two. But here's the thing, while some studies used to say a little alcohol might be good for your heart, newer research is making us think twice. Drinking any alcohol, even just a little, might actually up your chances of having high blood pressure or heart issues. And drinking more than a tiny bit each day could lead to other problems like an irregular heartbeat. If you're thinking about drinking alcohol because you've heard it could be healthy, it's a good idea to pump the brakes. More recent studies are showing that even a small amount might not be so great for your heart after all. Talking to a doctor or a nutrition expert is a smart move to figure out if drinking alcohol is okay for you. They'll consider things like calories and if you have any conditions like liver or kidney issues. They'll consider things like calories. Hey, if you're not into the taste of alcohol, that's totally cool too. There's no rule in saying you have to drink, even if you're following the Mediterranean diet. So you want to give the Mediterranean diet a whirl, but you're not sure where to start? No worries. As promised, I've got some really easy tips to guide you into adopting this delicious eating style. Let's break it down into these easy steps. First, fruits and veggies. Aim to fill up on two to three servings of fruits and at least four servings of veggies every day. Imagine a medium-sized fruit or a cup of chopped fruits as one serving. For veggies, think of two big fistfuls of greens, a cup of raw veggies, or half a cup of the cooked stuff as one serving. Whole grains are great. Swap out your regular bread, cereal, and pasta for whole grain options. Feel adventurous? Try other whole grains like bulgur, barley, or farro. If you're eating around 2,000 calories a day, shoot for at least three ounces of whole grains. A slice of bread, a cup of cereal, or half a cup of cooked rice or pasta can count as one ounce. Peeking at the nutritional facts label will tell you how much you're getting. Next, pick plant-based fats. Instead of using saturated fats, the kind that's not so great for you, go for unsaturated fats from plants. How about olive oil instead of butter, or spreading nut butter on your toast instead of margarine? These swaps are good for your heart. Also, seafood twice a week. Try to eat fish or shellfish about two to three times a week, but watch out for too much mercury. A serving for adults is about three to five ounces, roughly the size of a deck of cards. Go for fresh options like tuna, salmon, trout, mackerel, and herring and steer clear of the fried stuff. Don't forget nuts. Grab a handful of raw, unsalted nuts four times a week. A quarter cup is a good serving size. Dairy should be in moderation. Opt for skim or 1% milk, low-fat cottage cheese, and yogurt. Try to limit cheese to a small amount. Think about the size of four dice and try to cut down on full-fat dairy products. Less meat, more plants, cut down on red and processed meats, and fill up on fish, chicken, or beans instead. If you do eat meat, choose lean cuts and trim off any visible fat. And lastly, spice it up. Use herbs and spices like basil, garlic, or rosemary to make your food tasty without adding salt. They're like natural flavor boosters. Following these steps can help you eat more like folks from the sunny Mediterranean, making your meals not just delicious, but also really good for you. I bet you can't wait to get started on this fun food adventure. Isn't it cool how the Mediterranean diet is super flexible and can both be yummy and healthy? To really get all the awesome benefits, try sticking with it for a while. Thanks a bunch for joining me on this food adventure. I'm super excited to hear if any of you are already eating some Mediterranean style foods or if there are any that you can't wait to try. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And hey, if you liked hanging out and learning about this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Catch you next time.